Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of my playthrough of Blood and Wine. Thank you for joining me again. We are just outside of Mont Crane Castle. Uh, after the last episode, I ran back to the city here and I sold off a bunch of stuff. Wherever the heck the city is. Sold off a bunch of stuff um, and I also uh, went to like just a regular old merchant and I sold off a bunch of crap that I had here in this... Um, other category there's a bunch of stuff in here like broken rakes and smoking pipes and stuff like that i mean i was carrying a ton of that stuff and it was weighing a lot so it was awesome to be able to sell all of that and uh, get my uh weight down to 70 which is a great number this number here is now 170 because i had found some beauclair saddlebags at some point and they have a 110 maximum inventory weight compared to the 100 maximum maximum inventory weight of the stuff i was using before so we switched to these saddlebags and got rid of the other ones, and now we have a little bit more space to carry stuff, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, we've come back here to uh, Montclair Castle because I want to run in here and uh, take out all these bandits at this Hans base, and then uh, maybe leave and come back, well, take out all the bandits but not kill their leader. And then come back uh, at some other point and see if there's more bandits and maybe use that as an opportunity to uh, do some farming for some experience points and for some gold. Of course, I'll do farming off camera. But uh, somebody in the comments gave me the su suggestion to do that. I wish I remembered who it was. But whoever it was, thank you. That's a great idea. So I'm going to try it out. But in this episode, we're going to start out by running into Mont Crane Castle and uh, clearing out as many bandits as we can. Preferably all of the bandits um, and leave their uh, leader alive. So we'll put a little bit of Hangman's Venom on our sword. Get our Igni ready because Igni is really good to use against human beings. And you know bandits are around because they like to yell. So let's get to uh, Not your lucky day. catching guys on fire. Whoa! All right. Oh, we've already got somebody shooting arrows at us. That's uh, really not something I'm interested in. Oh, that guy said take him alive. Oh, geez, he's not dead. He's dead. Burn, baby, burn. Burn, you mothers, burn. Oh, he hit me. I'm gone it. Oh, my timing was very poor there. There. That'll shut him up. Oh, he hit me again! What the heck is he hitting me with? That hurts a lot! Holy hell! Isn't that just a dumb old mace he's using? How could that possibly do that much damage when I'm wearing Grandmaster armor? That makes no sense at all. No sense at all, I tell you. None. Not happy about that. No, sir, I'm not. But we're still alive and we're healing up. And uh, as soon as we heal up, we will um, continue on up. To wherever these bandits are. I guess they are up these stairs here. Okay. Up we go. Take a little bit more health. That's not the right button for health. This is... You guys are so loud. Alright, so we use these stairs as kind of like a pinch point maybe. Hopefully prevent guys in the distance from uh, shooting arrows at me. Oh, no! Yeah, he hit me anyway. Great. Very nice. Oh, he hit me! Damn! Alright. Oh, man. There's a lot of dudes on these stairs. And somebody shoot me with a freaking bow. Oh, I hate it. So we'll move around a bit. I don't know who shoot me. I don't see him. The Hans never forgets? Is that what he said? Oh man, Geralt is just a force to be reckoned with. Take a little bit more health here. Oh! Somebody's still up here shooting at me. Jerk. I'm coming for you. Oh, I, oh man. Oh, I hate it when I get stuck in there. Oh, Geralt! Quit shooting me, you jerk! Alright. Dude, chopped him to bits. Moist bits. Oh, 
Watch out, don't let him hit you. Here comes the fire, guys. Geralt's angry. He's had enough of this crap. He's not gonna take it anymore. Oh, he did not stay on fire for long. Oh, I hear somebody else. Oh, you son of a... You just don't know how frustrating that is. It is the best effect, man. They did a really good job at making that annoying. Oh, dogs! Dogs, 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 dogs. Where did dogs come from? Where the hell did dogs come from? Whoa, where... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did you guys come from? I gotta get out of here. Wow. Wow. Where the hell... Look at the mini-map. <laughs> Look at all the red on the mini-map. Good grief. Well. Burn, burn, burn. Look at this, man. It's a freaking barbecue. <laughs> freaking awesome. Yeah, crowd control, man. That's what Igni's good for. Oh, somebody hit me. Oh, this guy means business. Anybody behind me? <laughs> Listen to all the screaming. God, can you imagine how that smells? Look at this. This is freaking awesome. I love being a sign user. I don't like killing dogs, though. I feel bad. Oh, man! That had to hurt. <laughs> Where did all those guys come from? It's like, sudden, I guess maybe those were reinforcements. Maybe from the torch carrier guy, maybe? I don't know. But uh, we're here to loot. And loot we shall. Uh, there's a lot of looting to be done here. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and fill up our inventory. Oh, there's still a dog over there. Come on, doggy doggy. Oh, another dog. Oh, surprise. Oh, another one. Where are your dogs coming from? Sheesh. Use every part of the dog, you know. Don't leave any dog behind. Another one? Oh, holy hell! Oh, holy hell! What the crap? Get away from the dogs. Gee whiz! Are these things just spawning here? I hope not, because that would suck. Crap, man. Oh. Man, I am worried that one of these things is going to take a bite out of me. And I'm going to die. Take some health, Geralt. Don't shoot that. Oh, son of a... Damn it! So help me. Oh, man. I think I... Damn. I, th I think I might have died and used that vitality skill, because suddenly I had all my health back. I'm not sure. All right, let's bring up my inventory here, and, um... Where is it? I don't know. Uh, here, duh. Jeez. I need to uh, repair my armor, and we're going to use a journeyman's repair kit for that. Gee whiz. Okay. Man, there's still more dogs or something over there. Good freaking grief. Go away. Yeah, I'm starting to think that these things are just going to spawn infinitely. I hope not. It's not really what I have in mind when I talk about using this as a place to farm. I don't want them to spawn indefinitely. There's no sense of uh, accomplishment there. All right, let's uh, loot these things before more show up. Jeez, that was terrible. At least I didn't die. All right, uh, somebody here. A little bit of health. Some more dead guys on the stairs. I don't even care what I'm picking up. I'm going to sell it all anyway. Every last bit of it. And then I'm going to give the money to orphans. Okay, probably not. Probably not, let's face it. So, is there anybody else left alive up here? I don't think there is. 
a couple of dogs outside that we saw. Uh, what do we got here? Roasted chicken. Mm, that sounds delicious. A little bit of something there. Take that, just for the heck of it. Anything over here? Whoa, look at this place. Whoa! Hey dude, what's up? Oh! That's not their leader, is it? <laughs> that was funny, he like stopped and looked. I don't think that's their leader. Watch this. Oh no. Huh. He's not the leader, is he? Nope, he's just a bandit. Oh. Oh, goody. Alright. Gotta switch to Ard on this guy. Oh, man. This guy put his shield up quick. This bandit means business. Geralt comes in swinging. Oh, man. He gets his shield up quick. Look at that. You get one hit off on him and he gets his shield back up. Ah, screw you. Jerk. Oh, he looks tired. You drooping dong. What a thing to say to somebody. Yep, if that's all you want to play it. Back off, Geralt. Man, he just kept hitting. I had stopped pressing the button a long time ago. Die, mofo. Jerk. Sheesh, that guy was annoying. So he came down these stairs. Uh, oh man, no more roasted chicken? Oh man, I was looking forward to that. Okay, there's a ladder that goes up. That's probably going to lead to the leader. Uh, so we're going to let him be. Not going not gonna to face the leader right now. Um, so... Oh man, there's even more back here. Oh, okay. More roasted chicken here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Roasted chicken. Delicious. What all this stuff to loot, man? I wonder if all this stuff comes back. You know? Does this stuff re... replenish as well? I guess we'll find out. Or I will, anyway. Because, like I said, I am going to come back here at some point, but I don't think I'll take you with me. Let's see what's up here. I don't think this is where the leader is. Oh, nice! Sheesh, that guy. A rope ladder, that guy was nothing. So this is the signal fire here that is not lit. Surprised. I mean, I'm afraid I'm going to fall off of this and fall to my death. This is tricky. Geralt doing his acrobatics. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to take on the leader. Um, I'm going to leave this place, but before we do, there was something that I wanted to check out. Uh, you may remember in the last episode, we were um, walking around down here and Geralt said something about... Did I go in here? Geralt said something about um, using something that Kira gave to him. So I want to go down and check it out again. There's another dog down here? Couple dogs. Come on. Oh, whoops! I have Ard out instead of Big Me. Take care of that dog. Huh? Do we use our steel sword against dogs? I mean, I I, I don't know. They're not quite monsters, are they? Well, there's a cool weapon here. Okay, let's see if he says it again. There's something here. Nahelani's eye. Need to use the eye. Wanna use it. Nahelani's eye. Need to use it. Oh, interact. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that was easy. Well, I guess that's uh, what Kira gave us. Some kind of eye. All right. Well, that was easy. So let's loot this stuff, and then we'll see uh, what has been exposed. Cool stuff, man. Very interesting. Do a save here real quick. Um, so there was an illusion here covering up this entrance. 
Actually, you know what? Let's meditate for an hour. Oh, I hope that doesn't respawn the uh, bandits. Just meditating an hour. Oh, crap. Well, there's some dogs. Oh, my gosh. Did they all respawn already? Or is it just a couple of dogs? No, just some dogs. Holy hell, dogs. Why so many dogs? Okay. Uh, I wanted to meditate to get my potions back. And it worked. I got my potions back. But I had to kill a few more dogs. We'll see where the heck this goes. I'm suspicious. Uh, we go that way, or we go straight. What is this place? Ooh, here's something. Loot. Get some goodies from a, uh... It's not a, quite a casket. What is this? Some kind of laboratory down here? Something to investigate. Examine. Power crystal. What the heck is a power crystal? Didn't really examine it as much as pick it up. Uh, where is it? Power crystal. Item needed to complete a quest. Well, gee, thanks, game. Don't tell me what it is or anything. Don't tell me what it is. That's all right. Just tell me it's item needed to complete a quest. Ooh, uh, formula. Okay, great. Nothing else? All right. Here's something. Loot. Formula, formula, note. So, it's another one of those notes. I just sold one of these off back in the town because we picked up a note before. And it's kind of dumb. I mean, let's see, where is it? Here, look. Note, junk. Can be sold to merchants or dismantled into crafting components. You can't read it. It's just a dumb old note. So... I don't know. I don't like it. Oh, another illusion it looks like over there, maybe. Check this out. Use. Oh, secret wall. Secret wall. Alright. We'll go in there in a minute. Let's uh, keep looking around. Loot. Oh, Namish prankings. We've already read that. Uh, loot. The Einside and the Ein L. We already read that one, but here's a book that we have not read. Natural Born Killers, A Study of Garcanes. I already read the Einside and Ein L book. Oh, okay. It's not going to tell me about the other book. Books. Where is it? Down here at the bottom. Uh, Natural Born Killers. Bestiary entry added. Nice. Garcanes are commonly described as lesser vampires. Do not be misled by this terminology, however, for they are extremely dangerous and devious creatures which men stand no chance of defeating even when greatly outnumbering the beasts. Holy cow. Those things sound uh, dangerous. Garcanes possess a highly developed sense of smell, once they are on your track, you are as good as dead. They have a special taste for adolescents and children. Oh my. Hence the belief that this vampire seeks out only virgins. There is a grain of truth in that, yet it is not a matter of sexual purity, but of the level of blood pollution. The younger and healthier the victim, the tastier a tidbit it makes for a garcane. Yikes. Yeah. They are uh, now in the bestiary. So let's read about them. That'd be a vampire. Garcanes. Holy crap, look at that thing. Blood on the ceiling, guts on the walls. Must be a Garcane. Yawn of Lan Exeter, investigator and captain of the city watch. Garcanes, like Fletters, belong to the class of particularly dangerous vampires whose strength exceeds even that of fiends. An encounter with one of their number almost always ends in death, which is why there are not many eyewitness accounts of them. 
From the City Guard reports written up in Land Exeter describing the attacks committed in that city in 1104 by three Garcanes, later killed by a certain Olivier of Goulet, Witcher, it seems these horrible monsters do not content themselves with drinking the blood of their victims. The investigators concluded from the blood and guts strewn about the crime scenes that Garcanes tear their victims to shreds with great delight and muck about in their bloody entrails. Garcanes belong to the group of creatures known as lesser vampires. They often gather around themselves members of other subspecies of lesser vampires, acting in such, such situations as leaders of the pack. They are by and large unable to run, but can jump a great distance and often attack their prey in that way. During combat, they usually keep their distance from their foes, trying to incapacitate them using a blast of mental energy provoking visions that beguile and disorient. Holy crap. Before grappling a Garcane, one should drink the Black Blood Potion and stock up on vampire oil. It should also be remembered that the Samum and Moon Dust Bombs are always effective weapons against any mental attacks. Holy crap, these things sound horrible. Vulnerable against Moon Dust, Samum, Vampire Oil, and Black Blood. Well, I sure hope that's not what's down here because that sounds just horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Uh, this probably takes us back to the entrance where we came in. Yes, this is where we came in. We came in from these stairs up here. So let's go and see what is behind this uh, door that opened up when we pressed the magic button. Uh, another thing to look at here. And something on the ground, loot. Ah, Moreau's journal, Gollum, or man's most, faith most faithful servant, and then two books that apparently I've already read. Let's read Moreau's journal. 11 September 1121. I've received confirmation Jerome has arrived and is staying at Fort Usar. I am so giddy with anticipation and I cannot continue my work. Yet I must try to calm myself and see through my plan. 13th September. He arrived quite unexpectedly, right after dusk. He has changed a great deal. He is thin, wiry, all covered in scars. He was, of course, furious I brought him here under false pretexts, but what choice did I have? One day he will be a father himself, and then he will understand what drives me. So is Moreau, um, Jerome's father? I opened a portal in my study and brought Jerome to my lab. In doing so, I exhausted my activation crystal, but luckily I have a spare. I gave the lad some time to think things over, for I'd rather do all this with his willing participation. Meanwhile, I shall prepare the apparatus. What the heck is this guy talking about? Oh, okay. Huh. So the Witcher was taken somewhere via portal. Interesting. So this updates the Griffin Gear quest? What? I thought we had, to, we had to go someplace else for this. Explore the ruins of Fort Usar. Uh, put the activating crystal in its place. So... Here is where we put the activating crystal, and here is Fort Usar, which we were going to go back to at a later time. Huh. Okay. Use. Oh. All right, we're closing the door behind us. Sure, have a little bit of privacy here. Um, use. Oh, I guess there's supposed to be a picture of a power crystal there. There it is. Select. Now to activate the portal. See where it drops me. Okay, power the activating crystal using the Ard sign. Huh. Thanks for telling me what to use, game. So power the crystal. And there we go. Uh, I just remembered that there was a book that we didn't read that we picked up. And I think we might want to read it. Gollum, or Man's Most Faithful Servant. Aha, it does add a bestiary entry. Despite what you might have heard, the first Gollum was created not by a powerful mage or an elven sage, but by a simple dwarf from Maribor named Bonaventura Sesto, a brickmaker. 
The fateful act of creation took place over a century ago when the persecution of non-humans was in full swing in Maribor. Elves and dwarves had been accused of bringing, in, bringing an epidemic to the city, though it was later discovered the outbreak had been caused by a man, man named Mateo, a barkeep's dog's body? The hell's a dog's body? A barkeep's dog's body at the Golden Goose Inn. This Mateo was charged with both serving meals and cleaning the latrines and would only wash his hands once a month and then not very thoroughly the rest they say as they say is history. Whoa, long book. The persecution of non-humans was limited at first to robbing their shops, arson, and the occasional beating, but the violence soon escalated into a bloody pogrom. As the city guard looked on without lifting a finger, humans murdered elves and dwarves during three days and three nights of slaughter, killing over 300 individuals, including the aforementioned Bonaventura Sesto's entire family. Driven mad with grief and thirsting for vengeance, Bonaventura molded a 10-foot-tall humanoid out of clay and then carved the names of the slain non-humans onto it, along with a smattering of dwarven curses. Once finished, he slit his own throat, and when his blood splattered his gigantic statue, it came alive and started walking towards the city, of course. Bonaventura had his sweet revenge on his persecutors. His creation killed almost 500 humans, including the mayor and the entire city council, before the soldiers from the city garrison could take it out using their ballista. The Conclave's letter investigation, oh, later investigation found that Bonaventura had possessed hidden magic talent. Though he had never had any training, the torrent of powerful emotions running through him at the time of his death flushed out his latent powers and created from them a new spell. After numerous alterations and improvements, one can now cast the spell without sacrificing one's life, and golems guard laboratories, libraries, and palaces across the continent. Holy crap. Well, are we going to have to fight a golem now? So, um, the heck is a freaking portal here? Uh, uh, do I want to go in it? I don't know if I do, man. But, uh, color me curious. I wonder if this is going to take us back to Fort Usar. Let's go. Just wonderful. Whoa, Gollum. Of course. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> um, even though I just read about them, I... Oh, no, we didn't read about them. We uh, just read the book about them. So now there's going to be even more to read about in here. Elementa Gollums. If want us to break through this wall, we're going to need 20 sappers, 7 mules, and a hundred weight of saltpeter, or one Gollum. Vilmore Brass Foreman at Mount Carbon. Golems are mindless matter brought to life by a spell. They obey their creator's orders without question. Their boundless strength, ability to withstand pain, endless patience, and the fact that they need not one jot of food or drink makes them the best servants or guards anyone could ask for. Once provoked, they will not tire of battle until they have either crushed their opponent or themselves crumbled into dust. Defeating a golem is extraordinarily difficult. For obvious reasons, it does not bleed, it feels no fear or mercy, and it is invulnerable to fire and poison. What's more, a golem's body is as hard as the rock it is sometimes heft out of, so even a silver blade will barely wound it. The monster's only weakness is acid. A blade covered in acrid oil can thus increase one's chances for victory. Golems use no weapons, for they have no need, their fists, weighing over 100, over 100 pounds each, can crush solid granite with one hit. A blow from a golem should thus be avoided at all costs. There's no shield that can stop it, nor sword that can parry it. That is no easy task, for these creatures are able to move with surprising speed. Luckily, their enormous mass means they are not very agile. Once a golem begins a charge, it cannot stop quickly. A fact experienced witchers use to their advantage. Oh man, I don't want to fight this thing. Uh, vulnerable against diamond iridium bomb and elemental elementa oil. So let's put some of that oil on our sword. Okay. And diamond iridium bomb. Let's get that ready. 
We have Superior Dimeridium Bomb. Oh, these things are such a pain in the butt to fight. They are the worst. The fight goes on for freaking ever. Um, I mean, you know, I could look at my decoctions. I don't know if I have anything that uh, will help me in this battle. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Taking damage raises damage resistance. Uh, I mean, what I really want is something that will uh, help me knock him down or hurt him more, more quickly, you know? Um, damage dealt is increased when vitality is at its maximum. That's kind of interesting, but how long do you think I'm going to have my vitality at its maximum? No... Uh, uh, no, that doesn't gonna help me any. Stamina. Hmm. Yeah, all of these things here. Each blow landed increases attack power until either the fight ends or damage is taken. See, that only helps me until I take damage. I liked the sound of that until I saw the damage part. Because he's gonna, this thing's gonna hit me. Reliever. Increases damage dealt. That's only against wraiths. Portion of the damage dealt by enemies is reflected back on the attacker. That's kind of interesting. So there's all kinds of stuff here that might be interesting. Increases the Witcher's resistance to vitality depleting critical effects applied during combat. I'm not sure what that means. Oh, man. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know which one of these to take. Or is that one? Let's just take this one. It'll increase our critical hit chance and maybe that'll help us against this thing. I don't know. All right, so we've got ourselves a golem here. Okay, oh, we've already been hit. Oh, he's just standing there. Oh, okay. Well, actually, we're doing quite a bit more damage against him than I thought we would. So he's not like fighting an Earth Elemental. Yeah, he's not too bad. Of course, I say that. As soon as he hits me really good, it's going to hurt a lot. Whoa, what the? Okay, that was weird. Explore Jerome's prison. Okay, I didn't see any mention of Jerome being held prisoner. And for some reason, Geralt decided he wanted to light a torch. That was weird. This thing had it, you know, not quite half of its health back, but, or ha half, not quite half of its health left. But, um, I took one good hit at it from behind, and down it went. Cool portal. Cool portal, bro. Alright, let's explore this guy's prison. Geralt, can you not walk up steps? Good lord. We'll light things as we walk past them. Bunch of mushrooms down here. Some blood moss. Oh, here's something. Loot. Well, here's the diagram for the Grand Master Griffin trousers and a shirt. Well, we found uh, one of the diagrams. Take this Florins. Light it just for the heck of it. Kind of brighten it up in here. There's a ladder that goes nowhere. That's weird. Uh, here's something. Here's the diagram for the Grand Master Griffin silver sword. Alright, that's two things. That's cool. Hmm. Back of the diagram. Jerome made a note. Really? Let's look at the notes on the back of the diagram. Paralyzing spells worn off, but portal's still inactive, meaning I'm still stuck here. Too bad I left most of my stuff back at Fort Usar. Without my gear, I stand no chance of escaping. Think I'm going to die in this place. 
You took my swords, took anything that could be used as a weapon. Even got to write this letter on the back of a diagram. But before I die, I want to tell you one thing. You're a madman, and always have been. A cruel, cold-blooded murderer. I haven't felt anything for you for a long time. Anything but hate. I'm done with you, and I hope you pay for your crimes one day, Jerome. Huh, alright. Hmm. Jerome was Moreau's son. Be nice to know the full story. See, I mean... Uh, a grim tale. But I came for the diagrams. Should be somewhere around here. Yeah, we already picked them up. Um, I, uh, you know, I assumed earlier that Jerome was uh, Moreau's son. Um, but that note was no confirmation of that. I don't think it was. But hey, whatever. Huh. More diagrams. Cool. So what's going on over here? Interact. Okay, well, we found ourselves another, uh, secret door. Yeah, let's just light everything up. Huh. Well, oh, that, does this, does this go out? These not stay lit for long? I don't know. Let's keep moving. Something else to loot. Oh, now we're over encumbered. Check it out, man. Uh, let us bring up our inventory. Go to our potions. I'm going to take a um, white honey. And that'll clear my toxicity. I think. Yeah. And now I'm going to take the potion that allows me to carry more stuff. So we can get the heck out of here and maybe I could go back and sell the stuff. So potions... Um, I think, yeah, the Fiend Decoction increases the amount of weight the Witcher can carry without being overburdened. So I'm going to take that. That gets me up to 190. So that'll be helpful. What is going on down here? I hear an enemy or something. Whoa, what the heck? Uh... Okay, I don't think I want to jump down there. But I admit I am quite curious as to what the heck is going on. Where are we on the map now? We are way out here, man. Look how far we've gone into this place. <laughs> you know, this thing was grayed out before, and now it's white again. So I guess that might mean that these guys, this place is re, uh, respawned or whatever. Well, I need to move forward. And I... I don't know if that's water down there, or what. I might be able to jump down here. I'm going to do a save, just in case this kills me. Alright, I'm okay. Uh, Something's down here. I don't like the sound of it, I'll tell you that. What's this down here? Okay, just some goodies in a chest. Where in the world are we? Something red over there. Huh. We heard a monster walking around a second ago. That's a body over there. Let's go see if we can check it out. Loot. Speleologist's Diary. And a diagram and a bunch of other stuff. Alright, let's read this guy's diary. Five Fane. My expedition to the ML Mountains was a success, but I cannot wait to visit Toussaint. That is a land sculpted for grotto gropers. The Gorgon foothills and the slopes of Mont Crane are places where I shall be able to find dozens of exploration sites. The endless caverns carved out of that volcanic rock will assure me material to study for months to come. 17 Fane. Incredible. I cannot find a single spot fit for study. The matter should be simple, for tough is usually uninhabited. But all these grottos are either full of monstrosities or have been bought up by copper-pinching wine merchants scheming to fill every cave with their hideous barrels. Blast. I must find a Cicerone a local guide of some sort who will show me to some completely unoccupied cavern. Twenty Fane. 
a certain Luke Vunick, I don't know, whom I encountered in San Sebastian has enticed me with promises of a fabulous cave, you won't regret it, Master Garrick, in which there are no greedy grape hoarders nor any monsters. Tomorrow we shall set out to the Blesher Forest, but before embarking I invited my guide to a supper at the Pheasantry. We will be spending several days together after all, and I'd like to get to know him better. Luke turned out to be a picky gentleman. The chef de cuisine served us veal cutlets and garlic sauce and Jessanese bean soup. Luke, however, asked for pancakes and red wine, making excuses about an inborn distaste for garlic. <laughs> he also didn't touch the silver cutlery, explaining something about an allergy and making use of his own wooden set instead. Oh my gosh, this guy's a vampire. Despite these oddities, he made for quite interesting company and we chatted over a bottle, bottles to be precise, of wine until late in the night. Something tells me there will be, there will soon be much talk of the Vati Garrick, Luke Vinick duo in the world of speleologists or not. You don't think there's a Garcane down here, do you? Well, that's what happened to that guy. Get some goodies from that. Oh boy. Oh, there's the exit to the cave over there. No more uh, illusions. Oh look. He drew something. It's like two seahorses with horns holding hands and rubbing noses. I do not know what that symbol is supposed to mean, but it's kind of cute. Oh, 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 Garcane. Oh, Garcane. Garcane, Garcane, Garcane. Somebody remind me what I'm supposed to do about Garcanes. Uh, vulnerable against uh, Moondust and Samum. So let's get those bombs ready. Moon dust. Salmon. Okay, I've got my bombs ready. And of course, vampire oil, and let's not forget to drink some black blood. Sounds delicious. To our oils. Vampire oil. Get some uh I'm gonna have to drink well no I can't. I can't drink this. Because otherwise I'll be too over encumbered. Well, let's see how this goes. I'm a little worried. How much toxicity will this give me? 15? Well, hopefully I could take it. Let's let's see if I could drink it. Well, I drank it. Oh, there's also a flutter. Oh, now I'm in the water. Um. Oh, 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 oh! I did not think he was gonna get in the water. Oh! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. He got in the water. Oh man, I am hurting over here. Holy hell! Oh, I'm gonna die! I am going to die! Swim out in the deep water and hope they don't follow me out here. Holy hell! Holy hell! I am not ready for this. Oh my gosh. A flutter and a Garcane. I don't think I can get out of this water over here. No, I can't. My black blood is already wearing off. Damn it. Oh, this sucks. Look at this crap, man. Uh, where was the exit to this cave? Uh, over here. I'm running. I'm running out of the cave. Oh, no! Out of the cave I go. Out of the cave I go. I'm toxic, man. I am toxic. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Let's regroup a little bit here. Let's regroup a little bit. Where are we on the map? Let's check it out. So we're up here. Oh, that's interesting. It's a monster den, but it's 
grayed out like if we had already taken care of it. Hmm. I don't know about that. Heal up a bit. Um, I kind of feel like I should uh, maybe dump some inventory so that I don't have to have the effects of this fiend decoction on me. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring up my inventory. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I need to drop like seven pounds of crap. Um, this is pretty heavy. This is super heavy. Okay, now I'm okay. And now I'm going to go to my potions and I'm going to drink a, a white honey. Clear everything out. Um, as a matter of fact, well, let's just go with this. So, remember my loot's there. I'm going to go in here, and now, hopefully when I drink the black blood, I won't uh, get toxic. Alright, drank the black blood. Oh, whoops. Uh, we're going to switch to um, moon dust. What did I just do? Ouch. Okay, I don't know what the hell moon dust did. Okay, that was, uh, that was, uh, crazy. Geralt's confused. Okay, that was just me flailing about. Oh, it's so big, it's so big. All right, so they're supposed to chase you until you're dead, but luckily in the game, they just kind of leash and go back in there. Um, so we've done some damage to him. I don't know what the heck that bomb is supposed to do. What does that bomb do? Contains silver splinters that permanently prevent monsters from transforming. Alright. And this will blind, well, blind opponents. So we could try to switch to a Samum. See how that goes. Oh, damn it. Well, that didn't work. Come on. Got him. Oh, that was the Fletter. That wasn't the Garcane. Blinded. Oh, that did some good, I feel like. He's blinded. Oh, he backed away again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm out of those. I'm out of Samum. Oh, oh, that hurt a lot. Uh, we're gonna switch to uh, moon dust here. Not really sure what that does for us. He doesn't seem to like it. Come on, Carol! What are you punching with your freaking fists for? What the hell? What the? What? Good freaking grief! Where's my damn weapon? I do not know why the heck he switched to freaking swords. What the hell, get her of fists? Ah, hell. He didn't like that. Come on, Geralt! Finish him off. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, 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 oh! Did I get him? Look at my health. <laughs> Look how close I came to dying. Woo! Crazy, crazy craziness. That was some craziness right there. Let's heal up a bit before we go back in there. Hopefully we killed it. I don't know, man. He got off one good hit on us. Woo! Is this it? This is the flatter. Where is he? Is he dead? Yep, he's dead. There's his body. I see it on my mini-map. Oh, there's still something else in here, though. A lesser blue mutagen, that's all we get? See, look at my mini-map. Maybe it's up above? I don't know, but it's still show acting like uh, there's something in here. I don't know what. That's all we got was a mutagen? Really? From a lesser blue mutagen is all we got from that Garcane. That sucks. Alright. Don't want to fight those anymore, that's for damn sure. Okay, well, uh, here is my stuffs. 
Uh, I'm gonna do a uh, meditation to get my potions back. And, um... I mean, I could pick this stuff up. That makes us over encumbered. I don't know if it's worth carrying this heavy stuff. I mean, this thing weighs 12. 12. This stuff is heavy. But it's probably also um, worth a lot. So I'd like to try to sell it. However, if we look at our map. I mean, look where we are. We are in the middle of freaking nowhere. It is a long trek back to this, the closest fast travel point. But I have to go back to it. Unfortunately, I can't run around to these other question marks uh, because I, um, I'm over encumbered as it is. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and take this decoction because I want these things, I wanna sell them. And we're gonna call Roach. And we're gonna go on a bit of a ride over to here. Um, I'll ride over this way and then we'll come around. Okay, hey, let's yeah. see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Panther. Stench. Oh, that stench. Geralt doesn't like stenches. I guess this isn't too far, huh? Alright, we're gonna run around here. And... Fast travel point. Should be around here. Hopefully there's no bandits out here. Whoa! Whoa! Let's look at our map. Where is our fast travel point? It is right here. So we're gonna go Move it. to the road here. Come on. And we're gonna take a sharp left, or we'll turn around to the right. Whatever you wanna do. Whoa. Come on now. All right, here we go. Okay. This is where this episode ends. Just like at the end of the last episode, I'm going to fast travel back to the city. I'm gonna sell off my fantastic supply of gear. Look at all this. <laughs> Look at all this. Maces and swords and um, maces. Sell all those things off and then uh, and then we'll start the next episode and we'll decide what it is we're going to do. So I hope you'll join me then and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, won't you let me know by leaving me a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you will join me again in the next episode.